Hello everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Necropolis. Necropolis is a roguelike, Dark Souls-esque dungeon crawler. It's on PC, I believe it's going to be on console in the future, but just came out on PC today. And I'm going to play a little bit. I don't know how long of a series this will be. Um, if I end up finding some people to play it with in co-op, maybe I'll do some co-op videos. Um, that would be kind of a new thing for the channel. Um, but we will play a little bit of Necropolis. So we get to choose our character here at the start. Right now, all the characters are just uh, palette swaps, basically. Um, there's only one class right now. Uh, they were talking about having new classes patched in, in the future. I don't know if it's going to be a DLC thing or what, but... We are a black guard. We can be male or female. We, of course, will be um, a lady because lady warriors are super badasses. And a couple of these colors I've unlocked in the game. Uh, the Amandaso and the Hold of uh, Polybius. Um, are ones I've unlocked, but I'm gonna go with the kind of default, the daughter of Erwo, as I like the teal scarf. And I'll talk a little bit about the game as we go along here. First veil was lifted and Braxis faced the demon. I don't even know what that is. Third was rendered and Braxis defeated Ugaroth the Cruel. Then he went back and did the second veil. He forgot. It could happen to anyone. So that is the brazen head talking to us. He is kind of the overlord of this dungeon. Um, oh, we woke him up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. But yeah, he will troll us as we are in here. He has a really strange um, kind of humor style I guess it's kind of like this kind of black humor and please understand that that is in the actual sense of the word not in any sort of racial connotation um, yeah it's very very morbid humor So this is the Necropolis of Abraxas. Um, you can see there are controls up there. Literally just on the wall. Very Dark Souls-esque controls. Uh, we can jump though, which is kind of handy. Uh, we do not take a lot of falling damage. Um, I can lock on. I don't have a roll, but I do have a dash. Do some light attacks here. Stamina system very similar to Dark Souls. Um, and now you, something you will notice that um, I haven't quite figured out. Yeah, this is some crafting materials. Show that off in a moment. Um, these big crystals we'll call elevators. Uh, but yeah, you'll notice uh, that it's like the frame rate of breakable objects and loot dropping is low. Uh, as far as I know, that's just a design choice. That's not actually a performance issue. So you'll notice at the bottom of the screen we have three tasks. Um, you start with three tasks, and every time, yeah, this is actually the brazen head. Also, hello, friend. Can I attack you. Um, yeah. As we complete tasks, we will get tokens of favor. Tokens of favor can be spent on items either that are either temporary or permanent unlockables that we can carry with us. And the other cards that we get is gems. Gems are used for accumulating kind of experience as you go, or um, otherwise opening doors. So now we have to use five spells for one of these. So I'm actually going to buy some of these spells. Uh, I'll probably end up wasting them, or I'll use them on um, potions when we pick them up. There are potions in the game. They are randomized, and they can be very dangerous. So these are the codexes. Uh, you can purchase and unlock codexes with the tokens of favor, and you can take one with you. I honestly have no idea what these do. Uh, this one's called Eating is Overrated. This one's called Berserking. Um, I literally have no idea what these do. I'm assuming the Eating is Overrated may maybe makes food better. Um, and this one maybe is an attack increase? I really don't know. So we'll take um, that one. I'm sure with enough play, you could probably figure out what they what they do and do not do. You 
So as far as I know, going left or right here makes no difference, but um, maybe it does. We've got these kind of screamer enemies. Guy looks like a very uh, Dark Soulsy knight. So I've got power attacks too. If I hold the button, compared to this power attack, uh, power attacks do significant damage. Sometimes area clearing effects. Um, however, they do lower your maximum stamina. Uh, you can regain that by eating food. In fact, I'll do that right now. Eating food also gives you a little bit of health. Um, I can go in here and craft. Crafting is fairly basic. Uh, apparently there are more recipes, but right now I just have three types of food. Adventurer's Chalk is basically like a, a Prism Stone and a Potion of Vigor, which is a guaranteed to be a um, good potion. Oh, there's like a pile of... Oh! Those guys are coming out of that pile of loot. I haven't seen that before. That's a lot of them, actually. So I probably want to do a heavy power attack here if I can charge it up. Here we go. That does a ton of damage. Uh, weapons have tiers, uh, but they don't have any other listed stats. And we can hold two. Um, so I find it a little difficult to gauge what is is and isn't a good weapon. Typically something that's a higher tier is going to be better, but some are slow, some are fast, some have elemental properties. And kind of have to figure it out for yourself. I believe treasure chests are always safe, but oh, oh wow, we actually got uh, an armor change from that treasure chest. So now we look like this. Uh, it's always in the color of your character. Um, so now we have this stealth armor. I don't know the benefits of armor, to be honest. Um, wait, did that actually change my... No, I thought it changed my stamina there. Um, I assume armor does more than just make you look pretty, uh, but I actually don't know. Now these little guys... Uh, we'll run away from you, and I find that, ooh. Speaking of which, this one actually dropped a weapon. I was gonna say, sometimes they seem to drop really good loot. So we have this lightning sword here now. I think I said it was a pyramid sword. Actually a pretty good find this early. Um, and it's a tier 1 versus a tier 0. Uh, you will notice that the camera tends to kind of go a little bit vertical when I'm close to an enemy. That's just the way it is. Um, unfortunately, I can't change it. Pick up all this loot. Uh, there is no map either, so... That is to be... something you need to be careful about. You also find sometimes I don't lock on enemies just because I don't like that, that camera angle deal. Oh, is that a shield? Yeah, Buckler of Grun. When Grun declared war on justice, they rally his war on hunger fed thousands, but his war on purple just confused people, really. Yeah, so I don't know what these things are. Um, but they disappear like crystal lizards, too. Look at this cool little shield here. It's actually interesting. This is two items now I've never seen. I've played through uh, probably three or four runs at this point. It's cool to see the variety. We also have a shield bash. Uh, if I could hit something. That has a chance to stagger and knock things down. Yeah, I get that electric. So you see there it says I feel exhausted. That's because I've used a lot of my maximum stamina. Oh, that is a lot of enemies there. Um, let's see if we can charge up a big attack. There we go. So I'm definitely gonna need to. Oh, that's a spike trap. Oh, oh, get out of there. Oh, these are all spike traps. I died. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do another run here. Uh, this is a good example of the game. Uh, you know, it's unforgiving. It's a roguelike. So at the end here, we get some tallies. Um, and it'll try to level us up and get some gems. The more gems you collect, the more tokens of favor you get. Some, like I said, you can spend some of them as... Uh, maybe we'll go with the, uh, the hold of Polybius. Kind of the, the darker coloring. Amulets of power. Fashionable. Hmm. Stay tuned for this very special offer. Yeah, the humor in this game is weird. It's a little off color. Um, 
I know some people have said that they don't like that it's so out of character, but I think it adds a little bit of charm to the game. I don't mind it. Uh, the furthest I've gotten at this point is level 6. Um, I believe a single run goes to um, level 9, but I don't have first-hand experience with that. Fortunately for me, you do not take a lot of falling damage. Uh, you always start in this room and then everything is generated procedurally beyond that or randomly. I'm not quite sure um, how they're classifying it. Uh, the weapon you start with is also very slow. It'd be pretty interesting to see if someone could actually beat the game with that weapon. I'll grab these crafting materials. I think these are a little bit randomized as well. And obviously the more gems you get, the better. Actually craft a ration. Rations are pretty good ways of... Um, so this time we have to gather food, slay skeletons, and plunder treasure chests. I actually should have waited to craft that food because I would have counted, but should get much, much more. Uh, I'm gonna take the berserker one again. Uh, oh wait a minute, did that? Hold on a second. Oh. Maybe the Berserker one gives me more attack power at the cost of health. I notice my max health is lower uh, when I equip it. Yeah, so maybe I'll try this eating is overrated one. Maybe that makes food better or... I'm not sure. All right. So there are a couple of different settings as well. Um, I have seen so far a, in addition to just this setting, uh, Screamer Blade is really nice, low level weapon, it's very fast. Um, in addition to just this kind of setting, I've also seen a swamp setting. And I've seen a kind of uh, almost Skyrim-esque or Elder Scrolls-esque Dwemer Ruins um, steampunky area. It's been kind of neat. So there's definitely some different uh, biomes and s stuff in the game. I know they want to add more at some point as well. Like I said, this is on Steam. If you want to check it out for yourself, um, it is $30 right now. And while this is a Let's Play video, not a, a review, um, I will say I'm not totally sold on that price. I did buy this for myself. This isn't a review code or anything. Um, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the $30 price point. It's definitely something I would say is infinitely better with friends. Um, from what I've seen at least, I haven't gotten to play it with anybody else yet, but it seems like something that having that dynamic um, would definitely make things a lot more interesting. Plus, uh, while it's permadeath, um, in co-op you can actually res each other. So you can certainly get a hell of a lot farther in co-op. By being able to res each other. Whoops, that was a little close. Uh, something else that's kind of cool about the game that you might get to see here pretty soon. Um, whoops, there we go. Is a lot of enemies, oh dear, a lot of enemies don't like each other. Uh, these laser guys, for example, will actually attack other enemies in the dungeon. You can use that to your advantage. I dropped his plate as one of his shields. Most enemies will drop items they're carrying, so if you see an enemy that's using something you want, kill them, and you'll probably get it. Or have a chance to get it, at least. And another one of these guys. I still don't know what those are all about. They're like little loot pinatas or something. Uh, we'll also find uh, writing on the walls, too. It will give us a little bit of story or some humor, things like that. Actually finding oh finding a lot of food here. Is that the same shield? I think it was, yeah. I will definitely craft here. Watch out for that spike trap. I want this stuff, but I don't want to step on the spikes. Enemies can also trigger spike traps too. I like that. 
There we go. This is the shield bash at work. That's another one of these guys. Can dash, but there's no dash attack to my knowledge. Or you can sprint, I should say. Alright, I definitely need to get some stuff going here. So let's uh, craft a potion of vigor. And I've noticed the potions of vigor are a different color every time. I think that might be a hint at to, as to what things will be safe as you go through the dungeon. Potion of vigor will restore more health, but it will also restore a little bit of stamina. There's chest. Oh, I don't have my scrolls this time, that's right. So that was an unknown potion. Um, oh no, it was actually a potion of vigor, nice. There are a lot of enemies over there. Uh, there are no backstab maneuvers. A little bit to my dismay. Let's see if I can sneak up on these guys. And... Worked out well. Stamina is kind of a, a good resource. Um, you can save yourself a lot of health by using more power attacks better than I am, essentially. I'm actually going to use a potion of vigor here. That's a nasty group guarding that chest. There we go. Yeah, if they want to come over here one by one, I'm all for that. Oh, that's a very hardy skeleton. There we go. Now, I do have a lot of rations, so I'm actually going to use quite a few power attacks here. See, that guy's got a big old tower shield. He will stop your power attacks um, from firing. Alright, definitely running out of stamina real fast here. I don't like fighting this guy kind of a pain. Ah, oh, you just knocked that one's head off. All right, let's see if I can grab a ration nom here. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. I was gonna say, I gotta get that away from me. I will definitely take his shield. Um, I could also take his sword. Yeah, because it is the lightning sword. Even though it's a tier zero. Which is different than the one I picked up last time. Oddly enough. Alright, what do we got in this treasure chest? Oh goodness! What the heck is that? Okay. I thought that was gonna be a mimic for a second. What is this? Oh, recipes! Oh, that's awesome! I've never seen this guy before. Arcane food. Huh. Um, well, I definitely want to buy a lot of these recipes, because I think recipes carry over. Um, fast hatch jar. That's weird. Energetic strike. That one's pretty cheap. I kind of want this um, Zeke's fast hatch because I'm curious. Then, um, might as well get maybe the next. Oh, we can get these two. Oh, that's awesome. I really, I've never seen. Yeah, okay. Uh, will he still be there? Yeah. <laughs> that's so weird. All right. Um, so, oh yeah, this is a whole bunch of stuff. Prevents monsters from attacking. Very cool. So I, yeah, I believe this will carry over um, playthrough to playthrough. Rats usually have some sort of materials. What is the, What kind of other materials does this stuff need? Scales, spore. Yeah, I find I found a lot of that stuff, but never been able to use it before. So now we have this big old tower shield. Um, interestingly enough. I didn't consider this. Yeah, that requires 200 gems. I'm not going to be able to go through there. 
Uh, I think what that means is that I'm actually going to have to go back. Um, I have to backtrack a bit here. Maybe head through the other direction. I mean, these guys will drop some gems, but they do seem to respawn. They are strange little things, though. This one's very fast. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Did it say I could interact with that? Or was that a swap? I looked for a second like I could pick them up or something. Might have just been uh, another item. Yeah. Oh, he dropped a uh, potion and a scroll, though. I believe I'm going the correct way. I attempted um, just to use the scroll. Ah, so we get some life steal. Probably won't be very useful right now, but it's okay. Yeah, so I wonder what happens if I go through the other door. I've actually never done this before. So those things must be the fade. How strange. Yeah, so what happens if we go through this door? Just another side of the dungeon, I suppose. Whoa, that's a lot of enemies on this side. Some of them seem not so happy with each other, too. You can actually nail down multiple enemies at once. Oh, okay. Actually, I gotta eat one of my potions here. Now, this game does save as well. Um, I think progress on co op only saves on the host machine, but. Uh, this will save my progress, so if I don't die, I can actually pause and continue this. We have this big, dumb, headless giant. Oh, goodness. Alright, time to go. Uh, enemies are a little bit dumb, too. Uh, they can't climb a lot of stairs. There's a lot of these guys here. Bring it on, friends. Go. Got to scroll my D, so I'll actually try this. Potion of the Iron Foot. Feel immovable. Alright, I probably can't get knocked back now. If I had to guess. Oh, Dunn's Bashing Stick. Yeah, stress. This is a. Uh, there are no two handed weapons, but this is a more powerful. Um, kind of equivalent of one handing a two hander in Dark Souls, basically. Potion of Vigor, Internal Peace, Arcane Food. Yeah, what is this? I don't know what this Arcane Food is. I'm gonna try one though. It's a golden apple. Did that increase my stats? I feel like that increased my maximum. Maybe not, maybe I'm imagining things, but it certainly seemed like it.
Wouldn't mind getting the uh, the food gathering one. In fact, that does work from this. So I can actually complete that right now. My couple more iron rations. Yeah. So whenever you finish one of these, uh, you'll get another token of favor. So that's another way of collecting tokens of favor other than just the, uh, the gem acquisition at the end. Oh, this weapon seems actually very powerful. Oh yeah, this is amazing. It's just super slow. Hello, friend. Should not have walked on that spike trap. It's actually another one of those maces. Strange. I don't know if you get a bonus for completing all three, but basically every time you go down a floor, um, it'll refresh one of those. Try this potion too, it's an unknown potion. Ah, health regeneration. Nice. Yeah, every time you go down a floor, it will refresh um, any of those that you've completed into new objectives. This weapon's just making quick work of everything on this floor, that's for sure. I do a power attack with this. Nice. We must be getting close to the end of this floor. It's just a matter of where it is. Let's see you rat. Unknown scroll. Oh. It was like a slow spell. So I'm gonna do the the terrible thing here. I'm gonna drink this potion with these guys aggroed. Uh, you should never ever do this. But for the sake of amusement and curiosity. Oh, I feel blinded. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. I've never had this one before. I'm very surprised that guy did not take me out while that was going on. So Golden Apple, it, takes, it can't possibly restore your stats, that seems way too powerful. Or increase your stats rather, I must have just been not looking at that correctly. Probably just restored my, uh, my fatigue or whatever I thought it was increasing. Yeah, unfortunately, enemies, especially the lower level enemies, are a little not smart. What was that? Oh. Yeah, the jump attack on this. I wonder how well that works. Give me those. It does use uh, max stamina to do it. Seems okay. Using uh, food as a replacement for health potions is not the most efficient, but it does work. Ah, so these red pillars Oh, these uh, kind of red colored spikes will actually spawn in kind of red phantom enemies if you want to look at them in Dark Souls sense. Um, I'm not quite sure who they are, uh, but they are typically very dangerous. Yeah, here we go. Some of them have funny hats. 
um, and crossbows and all sorts of nasty things. They will... Oh, wow. Holy cow, this weapon is powerful. Those guys usually take quite a beating. Yeah, I'm not quite sure the, uh, the deal with this stuff, but... There we go. Cleared out that area. It's actually going fairly well. I can just find the exit to this floor. I'll uh, probably pause the video there, and we'll actually continue this run um, in another video. Unless there is only one path down, in which case I may be running into an endless circle here, not even knowing it. Hmm, it would be nice to be able to craft a potion of vigor, though. My health is getting not so great. These guys duke it out a little bit, weaken each other. This isn't going in a circle, is it? I don't think so. No, 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 there's a spider. Here we go. There's a fair amount of enemy variety. Usually these beginning floors have kind of the same enemies, but um, yeah, here we go. Here's the exit. So the open uh, mouth on the door signifies it's the uh, the locked door. So we'll open this up and we'll get an exit room. Now, in the exit room, um, you know what? Eating in general is actually increasing my stats. I wonder if that's the effect of the codex or that's just an effect I hadn't noticed before. Um, yeah, there'll be a library here. You can swap out your codexes or maybe buy another one. Uh, there's usually like a merchant up here. Oh, nope. Uh, they're not actually here this time. They might be out somewhere else in the area. Um, and this over here... Huh. I never paid attention to these stairs before. Uh, you can spend gems here to get the Blessing of the Gods. And that will uh, give you a very, very... You gain power and defense, calligraphy, and small talk. Um, it'll give you a bonus to your max health, but I think it might also increase your other stats as well. Uh, if we go out here, um, there will be something upstairs for us to look at. I feel like I might turn up the music a little bit. Look quiet. Pretty good music in the game. Yeah, I'm not quite sure the, the purpose of these rooms, but when we come up here, there's always some, some art on the wall. This one depicting this kind of uh, mage or, or priest type character looking at a pyramid of some sorts. Um, but yeah, but there's always one of these at the end of the floor, way, way up here. I'm never quite sure what it's for. Oh, here's the uh, the NPC. Hi. Any recipes for sale by chance? Doesn't look like it. Oh, she does have a weapon for sale. I'm assuming it's very expensive. Yeah, that. Oh, it's 720. Both was cutter. It's actually a pretty good weapon. But well, we can just hop back down here. Take, like I say, take very little falling damage, and we can head down to the next floor. And I'll show that off, and then cut the video here. Pretty solid start. Get kind of an overview of the whole area. It's pretty awesome looking. Now, when we come downstairs, there will always be a golden treasure chest. You see there, it refreshed our, uh, our other quests. 
but the golden treasure chest costs one token of favor and it will have usually like a set of armor or something in it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, nice. I've never seen this before. Yeah, it's like those other guys we were fighting. Neat. Um, yeah, but with that, we will pause there for now and I'll continue this next time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Did click like. Helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you soon.